Alright, so I got a little split made up here a couple days ago. A little three frame nuke. Uh, I made it with three frames of capped brood and a few shakes of bees. Uh, it's already been five days, so I'm just going through it and checking for queen cells and destroying any. And then, I'll show you this here. Picked up this queen. It's a Kona queen from uh, Hawaii. So Kona Carniolan, there she is in there. And then I'm gonna put that in here. I'm just going through and destroying queen cells first though. But there she is. I bought this from a commercial beekeeper. That brings them in, so. Alright, so the bees are all just hatching out. There's a whole bunch of young bees in here. If you look closely, there's a queen cell. That's an emergency cell. And here's some other ones. Uh, let me find them on the camera here. There they are. So I'm going to go through and destroy those so that they'll accept the queen that I'm trying to give them. Alright, so... See, here's some queen cells that they're trying to make. I'm just gonna squish those in. I want them accepting the queen that I'm giving them. And if they keep making these, they're probably not going to accept her, so. See, I'll draw this out. There's a larvae in there. That'll turn into a queen. But I don't want them doing that. I want them accepting the queen that I'm trying to give them. So we're just looking around here. They're good at hiding them. Um, oh. They didn't sting me there. It's just, oh wait, one of them did. There's a stinger. Get that out. Alright, so I'll keep looking. And they'll cannibalize that and still be able to use it, but... I'll uh, look through here some more. So I want them accepting this queen. She was $50, so I don't want to be buying another one. Well, I mean, if they didn't accept her, I'd just shake them into another hive. But, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Alright, see, here's another one. I didn't even see that there. They're hiding them pretty good, so. I'm going to look through these three frames again and make sure that I destroy any of these little queen cells here. And then I'll put in this Kona queen. There's a bee hatching out right there, or emerging. She's just chewing her way out of that cell. Yeah, there's a lot of nice young bees in here, so that's good. Hopefully they'll accept the queen better with that. And there she is, chewing her way out of that cell. Oh, just about. Oh, come on now. Usually they're a little bit quicker than that. Usually they're a little quicker than this, but it still is pretty cool. Oh, 
Oh, and there she goes. She's out of the cell. When they're first born, they're uh, really gray and fuzzy. So she'll probably go and get some honey or pollen and then come back and start cleaning out these cells. There she goes, off on her way. So this split, or uh, nuke here, I made up with three frames of capped brood. That there is capped brood, if you're wondering. That'll all hatch out soon. Well, it's just hatching out now. So this hive is going to grow really quickly. Uh, other than that, there's a frame of pollen, two frames of honey, or no, four frames of honey, two at each end. Um, so there's two honey, uh, an empty, three brood frames, a kind of empty with pollen in it, and then two honey. Hopefully this will grow into a double for winter. This is just replacing my one dead out. So, there's the other hives. They're doing good. Alright, I haven't found any more queen cells, so I'm going to put the queen in now. Alright, so I've looked through there. There's no more queen cells. Here's the uh, Kona queen. She's in there. Alright, so I'm going to pop out the uh, cork at the end here, and they'll eat through the candy in probably about three days, and they can get used to her through this queen here, or through this uh, screen here, and then hopefully they'll accept her, and she'll start laying. So there's candy in there. I'm pretty sure that's just icing sugar and corn syrup, and they'll eat through that in probably three days, and then by then they should have accepted her. Alright, so I'm going to put her in there with the candy end facing down and the screen down. Just put her in between the frames here. They realize that there's a queen in there pretty quickly. Here, just push the frames up like that. There we go. Snug the frames up nice and tight. Check this out. See, they're already fanning, and they're running onto that that cage there. They know that she's in there. They're not very happy without a queen, so it doesn't take them long to figure out that there's one in there. All right, so now I'm going to close them up. I'll leave them alone for a week. That's an important part: is just leave them alone. Uh, if I come in here and check them too early, they could end up killing that queen. So I'm going to leave them for a week, and by then she should be out of there and laying already. And accepted. So I'll check them in a week, and hopefully everything's good. So check that out. They're already running onto the cage. They know that she's in there. Alright, cool. Alright, that's it for this one. See you in the next video. Alright, I thought I'd show this quickly. Uh, see how they're on the cage? They're not trying to sting her. You can move them out of the way easily. They'll start trying to feed her, and they'll get used to her scent, and they can't hurt her when she's in there. So, that's why the screen is there, and then the candy, it'll take them about three days-ish to, uh, to eat that out and release her. And by then, they'll, uh, see there, They'll start trying to feed her and get used to her. They know that there's a queen in there. It didn't. It doesn't take long, like a few seconds, and they can smell her in there. So, all right, that's it.